Hey guys, what's up? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at NAMM 2023. I'm in the Adam Hall booth with Rob. How are you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So um, we're going to talk about, or you're going to tell us about some LD systems, uh, like some new Mauis that you've got and maybe some other, a couple yeah. other products too? Yeah, we'll start Great. with this one if it's okay. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the Maui 28G3. Okay. We had a Maui 828G2 before and a Maui 28G1 before. This is a totally different unit, even though it's the same form factor. So this has a single 12 driver with a birch cabinet, and it has like a truck bed covering. There's four handles on it, so there's a handle back here, two on the side and one on the bottom. It weighs roughly 40-ish pounds, so you can easily pick it up, or I, I should say I'm not in great shape, but I can easily pick it up and then put a guitar in my backpack. And um, so the single 12, in the columns, these come apart simply by lifting them. There's six three and a half inch drivers in this column. There's six more three and a half inch drivers in this column, but they have phase plugs or waveguides, which we'll show a, a next. And there's two one inch horns in the top. So the result is you get lows, low mids, um, high mids because of the phase plugs, and then you get true highs. So it's really a full range array. A lot of the arrays aren't known for people that don't like them is probably because they're not full range enough. This one's really full range. On top of that, it's cardioid. So on the back, that's how they come apart. There's a screen, foam screen. So behind the column, if you listen to music, it's really quiet. And all of the sound is pushing out of the front. Okay. And then the back of the sub, um, it's a single 12, but you can purchase another single 12. And you have the option of running it parallel. There's, there's a, a, a sub output on the back, so you can run it in parallel. Or there's a button you can push for cardioid. And if you do that, you reverse this sub, point it this way. And what happens is you get 10 more dB of sub coming out of the front of this okay. one. Okay. So it sounds like somebody just wheeled in a couple of 18 subs when you do that it's huge sounding wow so they're all uh, buildable with more subs cardioid very cool cool wow and then so uh there's also from what you were telling me there's also a new maui, maui 11. 11. Yeah, let's okay. go look at that now okay here's the new maui 11 g3 it's, it has all the same features as the maui 28 g3 except it has two eight inch speakers in the sub not a single 12. this column here has no speakers in it and the top column has the same six three and a half inch drivers that the 28 has. You can see the phase plugs, which we'll zoom in in a minute. And then the one inch horn has one one inch horn. And it's the same cardioid back panel where it's quiet behind, and it still has the cardioid option for additional sub. So you can take another uh, two eight and reverse it or put it in parallel. So this is the Maui 28, uh, the Maui 11 G3. Cool, right on. Good. And then uh, you're also gonna show us, it's a new series? The yeah, the new Dave, Dave series, which is a 2.1 series. Let's go take a look. Okay. This is the new Dave series. Dave's are 2.1 systems, so meaning one subwoofer and two satellites. There's a 10 inch Dave G4X, there's a 12 Dave G4X, there's a 15, which we don't have at the show, and there's an 18 on the stage, which you'll see in a minute. And um, you can actually have the satellites on a fork mode coming off of a pole from the subwoofer, which screws in, um, which gives you a nice stereo imaging, or you can actually take the satellites and mount them on a on a speaker stand and put it far away for coverage. Or you could have you know, two on a stand. They don't have to be right next to each other. You can also run two 2.1 systems if people are used to left and right speakers. There's some confusion sometimes. So you could actually have these two running simultaneously on a stage like a regular speakers. And to avoid phase issues, which people get confused why there's two satellites. If you run a left and a right, what you do is on one of the speakers, you just run straight down left and right. But on the sec second one, to avoid phase issues, you actually cross the speaker cable left and to right, and what that eliminates the phase problems. So you, you can use it as a compact 2.1, or if you have a bigger venue, you need two systems, you just run two and then cross the cables, wow. which is great. And the concept is low price, big sound, punchy, convenient, easy, compact. Makes it quick setup. Awesome. So we'll look at the Dave 18 uh, with the separate satellites. You can see what those look like next. Okay. Here's the Dave 18 G4X. This has a 18 inch sub, so big DJ friendly, big bass. This is 2,000 watts RMS. Continuous power, so 4,000 watts peak. And you can see the satellite gets larger and it has a two inch voice coil. And this shows the setup where you have the, you know, the the one, the subwoofer, and then the two. We have one here and one across the stage on the other side so you get the spread. And I'm gonna show you on the mixer how you can determine if you want, there's a fork setting and there's a spread setting. And it actually changes your crossover and your delay time and it, it gives you good stereo imaging and DSP. I'll show you that next. Cool. So here's the mixer on the Dave series. It's a six channel mixer. 
It has EQ and it has a great reverb with a few different presets. You have a small hall, large hall, plate, reverb, and you can turn it on and off. Um, when you do the separation of the speakers, as I was saying, from fork mode to speaker stand mode, there's actually a button you can select. If you hold the button down, you'll see that's the speaker stand mode, which changes your stereo imaging. And if you hold it down again, that's your fork mode. So however you set it up, you can preset it. It does all the crossover and for you. So yeah, Dave is a big sound, compact sound. You can use as a 2.1 or a couple of 2.1s together. Thanks so much, Rob, for showing us these. But I do have one lingering question okay. uh, before we go today. Like, who is Dave? <laughs> Funny. Like, why, why are these called Dave? <laughs> these are called Dave, actually. So what happened is when they designed these speakers originally on the version one, uh, everybody was asking, hey, this is really cool. What are you going to call it? And then the guy said, I don't know. And then somebody else in the back, because our president of our company is called Dave. <laughs> so they go, call it Dave. And the name just stuck. It was kind of a joke, but it, that's why it's Dave. <laughs> Named after David Kirby. <laughs> right on. Well, if you're interested in finding out more information about any of these LD Systems products, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Got it.